To begin, we will take our toothbrushes that have been soaking in chlorhexidine scrub, and we will remove the instruments for the, from the chlorhexidine soak and start to scrub all over the instruments. Do front and back, side to side, making sure you get in between all the grooves and teeth of the instruments to make sure that they are properly clean and sanitized. Once you have scrubbed and rinsed to the instrument, you will place inside the milk lubricant to lubricate all the hinges to prevent any rusting. Now to clean our trach tubes, we remove them from the Dawn soak, scrubbing the outside with the toothbrush, making sure to get into all the folds of the inflation balloon part, as well as all the, the grooves and crevices around the outside. You will take a wire bristle brush, dip it in the chlorhexidine scrub, and clean the inside, being very careful not to jab and poke too hard as will puncture the tube. After rinsing the trach tube with tap water, we will set it on the towel to dry. Sometimes it helps to stand the tube up against the wall or a container so it can drip dry. Now to start folding our packs, we start with a clean drape, place it in a diamond in front of us, removing all hair and lint with a lint roller. You will need to do this on both sides. From there, we replace the inner wrap and repeat the same process, removing all hair and lint. You will then grab a huck tail, fold it in half, again to make sure there is no hair or lint. Go over it a couple times with the lint roller. We will be putting our surgical instruments inside the huck tail. You will now lay the instruments out, separating by size and type of instrument, being sure to put all the scissors together, as well as all the hemostats and the towel clamps. You will not clamp the instruments, you will just lay them on top of each other. Clamping can cause issues with sterility as bacteria can be stuck inside the little grooves once clamped. From here, there is no specific order that you have to line up the instruments in, again just keeping them together by groups and by size. Once you have them all on your hand, you will thread the spay hook through all of the handles and lay flat. You will then place each of your thumb forceps and blade holders along the sides. Be sure to verify you have all your instruments before doing the final wrap. All surgical packs have 21 instruments and all laceration packs have 13. Once you have verified your amount, you will fold the huck towel over as to cover the instruments, making a nice little square. On top of your instruments, you will place your drape, fold it accordion style, Again, as you're folding, making sure there is no lint or hair on any of the drapes. Be sure you remember what color your instruments were wrapped in, as well as what size drape you're putting in, as you will have to label the outside once finished.
As the finishing touch, you will put two piles of gauze, about 20 in each pile, and this is not a specific number, verifying that you have removed all hair and lint from the pack before wrapping. As you are folding, remember to leave folded flaps so the doctors can grab onto the drape without removing any of the instruments or gauze, as well as keep the, the folds as tight as you possibly can get them. To complete the process, you'll need a piece of clean masking tape on which you will write your initials, the date, whether it was a surgery or laceration pack, what color the bands were around the instruments, and what size of a drape you put. And you will try to leave a little tag so the doctors can grab and peel the tape back, as well as a small piece of autoclave tape. 